This film was produced to aid projectionists and describes the proper use and essential care of the Bell & Howell Filmosound projector. The operation of all the Filmosound models is practically the same. With the projector placed on the projector stand opposite the screen, the two doors on the right side should be opened. Remove the power cord, feed reel arm, take up reel arm, and empty reel. Insert the feed reel arm into its socket at the top front of the projector case. Then insert the take-up reel arm into its socket. The take-up reel arm gears should be disengaged. Loop the two spring belts over the pulleys of both feed reel arm and take-up reel arm. Be sure that the belts are not twisted. The mounted 8-inch speaker can be played in the case. or can be removed from the projector case and placed on top of a table or a chair near the screen. Unwind the speaker cable and insert its jack into the socket of the amplifier panel marked single. With both power line and lamp switches off, the power cord may be plugged into the projector receptacle and a 110 volt AC wall socket. Open the small door in front of the projector lens, then turn the clutch control clockwise as far as possible. When the power line and lamp switches are turned on, a beam of light is projected onto the screen. The light image may be focused by rotating the lens. The image may be centered by adjusting the tilt knob at the front of the projector. Moving the projector forward or backward may be necessary to fill the screen with the image. Turn the lamp switch off and the power line switch off. Now place a reel of film on the front reel arm and press it onto the spindle until it locks in position. Place a take up reel on the rear arm spindle. To begin threading a film, first unwind about four feet of film. Slip it through the slot in the top of the projector case and pass it over the film roller. Then pass the film under the feed sprocket. The film will engage the sprocket teeth when the guard tab is pressed. Swing the gate lever upward to open the film gate. Place the film in the aperture channel and form the upper film loop by following the raised loop guide. Press the gate lever down to close the film gate. The lower film loop should also conform to the raised loop guide. The film is carried over the take-up sprocket. Lock the film. Next, pass the film under the upper stabilizer roller, around and under the sound drum, and under the lower stabilizer roller. The film is locked in the sound sprocket so that it fits snugly around the sound drum. Pass the film under the snubber roller, under the rear guide roller, and through the rear slot. Then, the end of the film should be passed under and around the bottom of the take-up reel. By turning the clutch control counterclockwise, the hand setting knob may be used to test for proper threading. Return the clutch control to an extreme clockwise position. When showing sound films, turn on the amplifier switch. Make sure the forward reverse switch is in the forward position and that the sound silent switch is in the sound position. Turn the power line switch on, then the lamp switch on. Focus the picture by turning the lens. Then tighten the lens lock screw. Set the volume control and adjust the tone control. The framer knob can be adjusted to eliminate any frame lines that may appear. If the picture has advanced too far, you can reverse the motion of the projector. First, turn the volume control down. Stop the film by turning the clutch control counterclockwise. Turn the power line switch off. Set the forward reverse switch 
to the reverse position. Turn the power line switch on. Turn the clutch control clockwise and now the projector is operating in reverse. For forward movement, turn the clutch control counterclockwise, turn the power line switch off, set the forward reverse switch to the forward position, turn the power line switch on, the clutch control clockwise, then the volume control up. When the picture has ended, turn the lamp switch off and the sound volume down. The remaining leader should completely pass through the projector before the power line switch is turned off. To rewind the film, first interchange the positions of the two reels. Press the take-up lock lever in. Raise the spindle to engage the rewind gears. Lead the film from the full to the empty reel. Turn on the power line switch. Turn off the switch when all the film has been rewound. To show silent films, the sound silent switch should be at the silent position, and the amplifier switch should be off. Otherwise, the projection procedure is the same. We have seen how to operate the Bell and Howell projector. Let's now learn what care and cleaning should be given the projector. Pull out the projection lens and clean it with lens tissue when dusty. The condensers may be cleaned in a similar fashion. The film gate shoe should be cleaned before each showing. Pull it straight out by grasping the metal frame. The aperture and film channel may be cleaned by using a small cleaning brush. Only a clean, soft cloth should be used to wipe the highly polished film gate shoe. When the projector lamp is burned out, Replace it by first turning off both lamp and power line switches. Disconnect the power cord from the projector. Unscrew the cap at the bottom of the lamp house. The lamp will drop out. Insert the new lamp with the vertical tongue of the pre-alignment gauge toward the front of the projector. When the lamp settles in its proper position, replace the screw cap tightly. If the exciter lamp needs replacement, unscrew the thumb nut of the compartment cover. Press the lamp down and turn it counterclockwise. Put in a new lamp, reversing the procedure just followed. After wiping the lamp clean, replace the compartment cover. If the fuse needs replacement, first be sure the power cord is disconnected. To remove the fuse holder, turn it counterclockwise. Put in a new one ampere fuse and return the fuse holder by pressing it in and turning it clockwise. For proper lubrication, you should consult your instruction book. For repair beyond the material covered by this film, report to your supervisor. 
With proper care and operation, your Bell & Howell projector will give you years of outstanding service.